Alrighty guys, all loaded up for a new project up in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Jump in here and show you guys what we got going. Let me see, where's my folder? First day of, I think this is 400 man hours, 400 some man hours. That's gonna be pretty. And I don't know if you can tell by all of the steps, but there is a lot of grade change. Grade change. We have a little bit of an access route down here over a really steep bank. It, there's This job is gonna be challenging. There's not a lot of space. Put in a patio down here, a whole bunch of steps. Up here along the water feature, uh, it's an 11 by 16 pond with a 16 foot uh, stream. This is going to be a fun stream to build because of all the hikes that we have. It's such a steep bank. It's going to be beautiful. Steps all along here, winding up, tucking close along the water feature, all the way up to an upper patio, big wall system, and a hot tub. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be difficult. I'm excited to go get it done. All right, get to our software. My schedule. Backyard Oasis. Yeah, that seems about right. Go for my job details. This is pretty cool. Can navigate to it. I have all the customer information. I have all the work areas. All the information for this entire. This is my digital job folder. 47 minutes. All right, let's go. Well. We're here. I'm taking one last deep breath before the storm begins. I see Derek out there. Let's grab my folder, go out, see what he has to say. I don't even know where to put my job trailer around here, so I'm just gonna park up in the middle of the road. This is in the sticks outside of, uh, in between Evansburg and Johnstown. Hey Derek, what do you say I just back my job trailer down here? Yeah, just uh, or build a wall there to back it again. Yeah, we'll just build a wall right here so we can back our job yeah. trailer out and then when we're done, we can tear it out. Now I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna park it over there. Yeah. Of course, we may wanna put boulders there. That's gonna be there. some access there. You're gonna need access there. We may wanna put boulders there. Yeah, we're, we can park it down in here. He's gonna be here, he's gonna be here. This is gonna be our access too. Oh, that's how we're, I thought it was gonna be over there. Well, this, this will be quicker. I don't know what that was. Looks like somebody maybe put a slip and slide or something there. Oh, that, that actually can be. Yeah, this way I would prefer. That way I could stay off of that driveway. Yeah, uh, is that their property? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's look at this right over here. <laughs> Take a good look, folks. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh I my need goodness. I can't remember what we talked about. Gracious. Uh, yeah. Look at that bank. That's going to create a serious waterfall. And then the pond down in this area. Then guys, I, this weekend, my faithful companion DJ and, and most importantly, our uh, cameraman was out playing with his dirt bike and broke his leg. So I'm without him for they say six to eight weeks. So <sighs> I'm going to do my best to build this beautiful backyard and try to get the thing captured on camera for you guys to see but it's gonna be a tough one he said he's gonna be back out here in a week uh, just tormenting me because he misses my beautiful face and uh, running cameras so hopefully maybe next week he'll be out here and shooting some film it's gonna be a new experience Alrighty, that should give you a pretty good scope of what it looked like before we came. I hate grass. What an ugly, nasty looking green hill. Let's put something pretty in there. What'd you bring us, Logan? Boulders. Boulders. Looky there. Two weeks ago, these were in the Pennsylvania mountains and Steve was out harvesting them with our big deuce on excavator. They're freshly harvested. Oh, he's got some more in the back. These are beautiful rock. They're almost too nice to put in the pond. Well, we'll use some of them for our stream. Oh, look at that stuff. Look at the beauty on that guy. I love all the moss on him. Did you think you were gonna drive off the edge of the earth coming down here? Pretty 
much. Oh, it's pretty twisty, windy back roads. Here's our access. They built this little uh, flat spot for their camper. Got this hill, come around the back of the shed. Logistics, logistics, logistics. It's part of every project. Come around here. We actually, we'll be able to stage some material down in here if we have to, which is nice. And then, here we go. There's our workspace. So, what I was thinking is, we build this pond, we move up there to that shrub, there's a wall going up there, and we build that wall, and then I'll start with the steps that start off of the patio that we're putting down here and go up along the waterfalls, along the wall, up there to the deck. Then once the wall's in and the pond's in, we'll build our stream for the pond and the steps going up through there all at the same time. That's the game plan. This bank is gonna eat up some big, big boulders. I actually wish I had a bigger machine than the E42. Maybe I'll bring our big orange deuce, deuce on down. And I could uh, do all the work from one spot on top of the hill. Special challenge with this project. There is all kinds of stuff going. So we have a, a drain field that starts here, runs out there right through the middle of the pond drain field for the sewer system we have electric that comes in up here as well as sewer clean outs um, and then the actual septic uh, holding tank is right here we have sewer lines and electric lines and downspout lines everywhere from here to there we're going to do our best to try to avoid them but i i can assure you that we're going to hit them and then we're just gonna have to fix them and move on. So that's one challenging thing about this project. Alrighty folks, every journey has the first step and it's about to happen right here. You see right there, I painted out the pond. <laughs> See, now that's what I call a miracle. We didn't get the sewer lines in the first scoop. It's gonna wait until at least 10 scoops in. Woohoo! All right, I just moved my laser uh, target down another 12 inches. That's gonna be for our next shelf. Uh, we excavate our ponds and shelves. This pond is gonna, the first shelf is gonna be 12, the next one's gonna be, I mean, the first one's gonna be 14, the next one's gonna be 12, and the next one's gonna be 10, so 36 inches. Grab my paint can. I want a really deep area over here, right by the patio. So we're gonna double it up here. Then my skimmer is gonna go in over here, and I don't like to double it by the skimmer. Then I have to use super big rocks around there, which isn't cool. So, there, that's good. Come out here, out here, and into there. So two double shelves. All the way along over there is gonna be super deep. Right here, I don't want it to be super deep because this is where the stream's coming in. And if I make it super deep right here, then I have to use really big boulders. Eh? You like that, Jason? I like it. You like it. No, I love it. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. I should put my boot down and then spray all around and take my foot away. Then I would have a boot track. Oh, okay. Why did we pile all of our dirt over here? I'm going to pile all of my dirt over here to grade this out. And the skimmer goes in here. Always put your skimmer opposite end of the pond where your waterfall is coming. That way it'll skim across the entire surface of the pond. Waterfall coming in over there, skimmer over here, opposite end of the pond. If your waterfall came in right here and you put your skimmer right here, then it would go down the waterfall, shoop, into the pump, and that pond would sit ugly and stagnant and it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, skim. So that's why I'm always putting them opposite ends of the pond.
Alrighty folks, uh, we killed two birds with one stone. We dug our pond, we found our sewer line. It comes in over here and goes out over there. We're gonna put it in a rock pad or liner. And then I'm gonna come over here, dig down, find the pipe, redirect it around the pond, tie it back in, fill in the trench with clean stone and call it good. We're just gonna move the drain field a little bit. First rock going in! Mm. I'm gonna crook it. There we go, progress made. First boulder sat in the pond. Hey, good morning, folks. Um, after the day off yesterday, we're back here. Today I'm here with Reynolds and Gary. Unusual crew combinations, but Reynolds and Gary build a lot of water features and uh, we don't usually work together. He does his stuff, I do my stuff, yep. but it's gonna be fun. He's already claimed the excavator seat. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure that we're gonna see too Bye. much out of him here, but. Well, I'll get out at lunchtime. <laughs> There you go. He'll, he'll do that thing where I'll set the boulder and he's gonna open his mouth and then he then he's just gonna be, you know what? Then like he's gonna mouth. close his mouth. Or, or or I'll see him just kind of raise his eyebrows in there like, what, what's this guy do, doing? You're gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's gonna be a fun time. All right, uh, the goal for today is let's get this pond rocked in and done. I think we can get that done. We have the right men for the job. Bunch of boulders. Empty hole, 35 seconds later, awesomeness. All right, we're making progress in here, rocking in this pond. Uh, two things I want to show you. One is, uh, you saw in the design, and I'll show you again, we have a patio coming over in there and whenever i have a patio coming in i like to get a big flat uh stepping stone rock or something like that that i can uh build it back into the bank that, that way i can bring my patio right up against this rock so i'll cut my flagstone into this rock it'll allow you to walk off of the patio without having to walk through gravel or mulch or anything right out to here to the edge of the pond we will be able to sit here and feed the fish and so whenever you have a patio coming up against a pond pick one of these nice flat stepping stone rocks to put in there one of the things i don't like to do is i actually like to dig the rock back into the bank rather than have it hang really far out over because all that really ends up doing is using up space of your pond um, if you move it back into the land into the bank like we did here um, you get that nice flat rock without having it stick way out into your pond. And the other cool thing that it does for you, it allows you to put a light way back in here, which is always fun, uh, cause you get to see the light, but not the source of the light. And that's always how we do lighting. We wanna tuck them back in where the beam will shine out, but you'll never see where it's coming from. And it creates a little fish cave. So lots of cool reasons to place rocks like this at the edge of your pond. The other thing I wanna talk about is and I've said this before, but I cannot overstress it because it seems like I see it all the time in ponds. And that is, you come back and the rocks on the shelves are just not quite high enough. And the whole purpose of those rocks is to retain the river gravel so you don't see your bare black liner. See these right here? They're maybe about high enough, but I can see it happening. Over time, this gravel is gonna migrate down in here, and pretty soon, right along this edge, you see black liner. Reynold, how many times have you seen that doing pond clean outs? Way too often, way <laughs> so, too often. So, how do you fix that? Make your rocks look like this one and this one, so that that gravel don't have nowhere to go. Same way here. You can see I'm starting to build here. I want my rocks at least three or four inches above this hike, so that the gravel doesn't have 
anywhere to go. What you can do now, so I sat these. If I was feeling really picky, I would tear it back out and put something in that's a little higher. But he's not feeling picky. <laughs> Reynolds says I'm not feeling picky. So he's gonna show you a trick. I instead. can, I can, I can stack job it. I can bring a little bit like I did here. This rock wasn't high enough. So I set one back in here. That'll get me the height I need. Just be careful that you're not stacking them exactly on top of each other. I never want to see this. Ooh, bad. <laughs> yeah, that's really bad. You can see the seam of the rock. If, if you're gonna have to make it higher with a stack job, move it back like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Reynolds, does that make sense? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do here to so, make this higher. So whether or not you think it, when you see a rock stacked on top of a rock like that, that automatically tells you that somebody put it there. Right. Because naturally it wouldn't be there. The whole rock pyramids that moved. you see everywhere. It's gonna look man-made and we want it to look not man-made, we want it to look natural. So none of that, more of that. Yes, 100%, we agreed. We're gonna have to talk about something else. Reynolds and I are starting to agree. Quick, moving on. <laughs> now, I'll find a rock that'll help me bring this up so that I won't be seeing a ladder. Pro tip of the day. 